And we are live. Starting the live stream right now. Look at live at the 2017 Audi RS3. It's a sedan in the US. Obviously, this one is. We're going to talk about the engine powertrain, talk about the interior and features a little, and uh, we'll take questions. Definitely throw some questions first. This is about to go on sale in the US. It has been priced $55,000 for the 2018 Audi RS5. That does include the destination note. This is competing against the Mercedes Benz CLA 45 AMG and, of course, BMW M2, I guess, theoretically. Both those cars are cheaper than this car. This car is starting at 55, those cars are 50 and 52,000. So RS3 is a little more expensive than the competition here in the US, but if I remember correctly, it is 354 pound feet of torque. That's all coming out of a 2.5 liter inline five. Now, of course, that inline five sounds pretty unique. Now, inline fives are obviously very historical and important to Audi. And this one has a very unique sound thanks to the one, two, four, five, three ignition sequence producing a special rhythm. Seven speed dual clutch transmission, Audi's Quattro all wheel drive system, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds, and it's top speed of 155. You can raise that to 174, of course, with a dynamic plus package. We're riding on 20 inch alloy wheels, 19s, 19s, just kidding, 19s on the wheels. This has got carbon ceramic brakes on it. Take a look inside. Look at these seats. These seats are gorgeous. Got RS3 embossed on them. RS, not RS3. Quilted. Quilting on the back seats as well, as you can see. Seven speed dual clutch transmission, no manuals available. No manual. How's the seat in the back? 10, so keep that in mind. We're gonna get back here. So getting in's not bad. Uh, I'm running right here is the AV AC vents, so I'm running into those. Plenty, and I, I'm sure this seat, I'm sure this seat is far, far too far forward for me. Um, Cause I, I, there's way too much room here. Um, so there's that. You're right, Fred. Um, but dual clutch is gonna shift faster and you're gonna be able to shift, so there's that. Um, got AC vents back here. Show you those. We're gonna get out. Hang on here. Getting out. Carbon fiber. We'll see if we can pop the hood. Take a look at that engine. Here's under the hood. Got a single strut right there. 2.5 liter inline five, turbocharged of course. Again, 400 horsepower, 354 pound feet of torque. Daniel, Daniel. Quattro all-wheel drive, seven-speed dual clutch transmission. Coming to the US, which is awesome because we never get the cool stuff. So this is fantastic. Really like this detail right here. We got the carbon fiber. What I really like is I dig this, this red, and of course, it's just plastic, of course, right? And this is painted. But I do like this red plastic. I think that's a nice touch. Got the RS badge right there. Silver mirror caps. What's the car on the left? Uh, this is the Audi RS5. We'll take a look at that in a little while, do another live stream on that. Gonna get off topic otherwise. Another cool detail, so we got these gaping air intakes down there. It's all functional, gaping air intake down there. And then down here, I really dig this. You got Quattro really being 
it's just really marketing that. And I like that. I think that's cool. Now, you should note this grill, and you're not going to be able to see this in the video. From here down is blocked off, and only from here up. So this is the only section that actually lets air in, in the grill. Everything else is blocked off for aero. Take a shot of the dashboard. Happy to, Adele. We'll get the dashboard for you. Hang on here. I agree, Jimmy. I love this blue color. So this is the dashboard. So if you look, so it's got Audi's virtual cockpit here. It's a fully digital gauge cluster. Of course, the car's not on, so you can't see it very well. And then right there is a screen that will pop up. It's about eight inches. So that pops up. You can hide the screen. So you can drive with the clean dashboard if you want, like the original TT. And then right here, you've got your digital gauge cluster. Audi calls that virtual cockpit. These seats are really comfy looking. Very nicely bolstered seats. Audi's MMI infotainment system right there. You've got the touch puck. you got the four corners. It's a nice package. Again, this isn't cheap. How much does it cost, roughly? So this is price, so they start at $55,000. Now, so we're, so we're talking apples to apples. Starts at 55 grand. This is gonna compete against the CLA 45 AMG from Mercedes. And then, of course, Jesse and Kevin, give me one second. And then uh, the BMW engine at 400 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque out of the inline Turbo 5. This got more power than the competition from Benz and BMW, but it costs more. So you pay more, you get more depending how you look at it. Turbo charge, yes Adele. Turbo in wind stroll. We're gonna take some final questions here. We're gonna move along. We'll be right back after this with a TTRS, the Audi TTRS. But if you want any other final questions on the Audi RS through new stream uh, dedicated to the TTRS. Final questions, taking a final round of questions on the Audi Twenty eighteen Audi RS three. No, Derek. For fifty five thousand dollars is the base price, but it does include nine ninety five destination. So, uh, Kevin, four hundred horsepower, three hundred fifty four pound feet of torque. So, loaded is not fifty five grand. Fifty five grand is the base. It does have manual seats. It has. All right, we're gonna take those final questions and we're gonna wrap it up here. We will be back more with more with the TTRS, so definitely come back in a few minutes.